pretty short, easy day. Despite the few hill climbs and a couple of pretty steep descents, but um, yeah, apart from that, it was a uh, Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, from Mariel to Barnes, um, such a beautiful property. I didn't want to leave. <laughs> it was actually raining through the night. I woke up and uh, yeah, it was raining through the night, and I was just like, "What? Where's like?" I, I kind of thought that we were due to get more rain in a couple of days time but yeah i wasn't expecting it last night and this morning when i got up it was um still kind of lightly raining and still raining when i had to head out so I headed out with my poncho on so i went like down the driveway a bit and then turned right onto the trail again and um, it sort of went up and around like through their property a bit. I went through this gate and then there were um, two alpacas there to um, wish me well and see me off. Uh, I sort of didn't really know how they were going to react because I ran into a day hiker and got talking to her and she mentioned some alpacas um, that were unfriendly. She said she was with her boyfriend one day and one of them was like fully trying to bash him up so <laughs> I didn't know if these were those alpacas or not. I just kept walking towards them and yeah, they were fine. I think they were just sussing me out. <laughs> and then there were some sheep in there as well that uh, looked very thick. And their wool looked very heavy. I think they need a, a haircut. And then came to another gate and uh, it was just like a, a track then, uh, sort of off the, out of the property, I guess. And then uh, I came to Bitumen Road and I thought because there was a sign there saying like warning main road I thought great I'm going to be walking along here for a while but I, I didn't have to walk along that part of the road for too long. Um, I sort of got put up on a little like a service road type thing and then came back down to the road and had to follow along the road for a little bit around some bends the sun came out but it was still raining so i'm walking along in my poncho with the sun shining but i didn't like it wasn't raining heavy but i didn't really want to take the poncho off like just yet eventually i came to a right hand turn off the road which was good and then I uh, started a bit of a climb away up and away from the road so the rain had sort of eased off a bit and um, the poncho was annoying me so I just thought no I'm taking it off like surely you know my pack's not going to end up too wet in this it was only like sprinkling then so yeah, it was fine. I think it actually stopped not long after I took my poncho off anyway. After the climb, I got sent across the Bitumen Road and into Giles Conservation Park. It was a pretty cool walk through there. It was like a nice, nice trail. Um, it's just trees and through the trees, like you could sort of see, you know, bits of Adelaide. I guess. Oh, there was still a bit of mud, muddy sections in there that I had to navigate through. Um, I was trying, because I actually have clean socks, I was trying to sort of keep them clean and clean gaiters. Um, I think that's the first time I actually washed my gaiters this trip. So yeah, they're not shimmery anymore, but they've gone like a pretty cool colour. I like it. I like the colour that they are now. I thought, oh well, there goes clean 
shoes and clean gaiters. But um, I actually managed to keep my shoes reasonably clean and dry today. I kept my socks dry today, which yeah, hardly ever happens. So whether it's like long wet grass or water crossings or mud or slosh or something, but um, yeah, no, I guess because today was mostly road walking and proper trail. I came up to this, um, you know, like a normal like hike trail marker sign thing and um, so yeah I had a look at it as I got closer and it had the K's left it didn't have any like trail name or anything and it said 31 K's a high central sticker and just 31 K's so it's like okay <laughs> I was still fairly high up and I knew I had a steep descent which I eventually came to I came to a turn and you just you couldn't even see like the track it just disappeared down <laughs> down the mountain uh, so that was pretty steep and that went down like for a while like yeah um, my legs are still a bit sore from all the down and ups from yesterday like they were steep I sort of tried to take my time a bit I didn't jog all the way down well I was uh, down in the bottom section the trail uh, got pretty wet because the water was just running down like over the trail <laughs> so and um, I was actually trying to keep my shoes and socks dry today so I was sort of trying to dodge the water the best I could uh, and then yeah climbed 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 and uh, looked up ahead saw a, an even steeper climb ahead of me Kept going up and then I came to another road walked up like behind a sign uh, so I turned around and had a look and this one said Horsnell something conservation park I don't know never heard of that before in my life um, don't know when I entered it but I exited it then <laughs> a little bit more bitching and walking and then um, again the trail sort of went away from the road and just um, I guess just around houses and properties and that just to avoid the road um, but yeah had uh, had some more views of the city along there and then uh, yeah walked walked along the fence line of this um, property with a billy goat <laughs> uh, so he was he was kind of cute and um, he started walking along the fence with me. I thought he was gonna like follow me, try and follow me like all the way to the fence, end of the property kind of thing, but uh, he stopped. And then I crossed another road and entered Cleland National Park. So I was glad to see that. It was something familiar and I knew that I wasn't too far from Mount Lofty then, so. And, uh, food and coffee so <laughs> that was my motivation uh, to keep moving along pretty fast through there I was sort of keeping an eye on the time and the case that I still had left to the summit and I thought oh, it will be probably just after lunch that I would get up there so I started like moving a bit quicker I come around the corner and actually because I kept looking out for the lighthouse I'm like oh come on I can't even see a lighthouse anywhere yet like I'm looking at all, all the you know tops tops of the nearby mountains and then eventually spotted it and I was like aha uh -huh, there you are like so that's where I'm going <laughs> sort of started climbing on the track that I was on 
and then turned the corner and came to the junction that I'm used to seeing but coming yeah coming at it from uh, the Heisen angle today so yeah turning left and then up to along like the um, Mount Lofty summit trail whatever it is I felt a bit different um, trying to walk up there with a bit a bit of a heavier pack on but yeah eventually um, reached the summit so I went straight to the toilet and then straight to the restaurant cafe thing and ordered all the food and a coffee <laughs> um, yeah I got a pie for lunch I got a lemon polenta for dessert and a fruit salad and my coffee and I actually made it um, when was it? I think I made it up there by quarter to one, I think it was. Yeah, something like that. So, um, yeah, it wasn't too bad timing. So, yeah, I ate all my goodies, finished my coffee, and then I had a look at on uh, Far Out, and it was only like 3.8 Ks to. Woodhouse Activity Centre so <laughs> I thought well I can just let my food settle and hang out here for a while because I don't have far to go now. I knew I had a crazy steep descent down um, looking at the altitude um, but yeah I just took it super slow like just baby steps and uh, yeah, wasn't rushing at all. It was actually like a really nice chill walk in between there and here. Yeah, most of it was just on like um, tracks, like back, like, I don't know, lane tracks and things like that. And then, yeah, before I knew it, I was, I crossed the road and then had a style and I was like, oh, yep. And then I saw the sign and realised I saw like private property and I was like, yep, no worries. And then down the bottom it had Woodhouse Activity Centre. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm here already. <laughs> I took a photo of the sign with the phone number on it in case I needed to call it because um, I didn't really know what to expect or where to go. And I knew I had my resupply box here somewhere. So. As I was walking in, I'm heading down, so I called the number. Got Heidi on the phone, and she was super nice, super helpful. Uh, I just said that, you know, um, my name and what I was doing, and that I had a resupply box there, and she directed me um, straight down and to the building, the main building, and the reception. And um, so I was meant to just be camping here, <laughs> um, but as usual I uh, found an alternative and slipped out and got a, a, a room, a, um, I can't remember what they call it, a sh chalet or something like that. So I slipped out again and got a chalet, what do they call them, chalet, chalet, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's basic, but uh, bed, <sighs> heater, my camera can't focus, <sighs> yeah. And they also said that they don't normally do single nights either, but I guess they made an exception. I haven't really done anything at all yet. I uh, haven't even opened my resupply yet. Uh, I chucked the heaters on, which is usually one of the first things I do when I get into a room. But I am about to get changed and then I'll open my resupply and go through all that. And 
work out the game plan for tomorrow. I'll suss that out tonight. And um, yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow for that one. See you later.